In this video, we are going to talk about the differences between XRD and SAID. XRD and selected area electron diffractions are two common characterization techniques which is used to know the crystalline nature of a material. So let's get started. Both methods are used to know the crystalline or the amorphous nature of a material. As you can see that these two characterization techniques are same. In XRD basically, if you want to know the single or purely crystal nature of material, we observe the intensity versus positions of the diffracted beam. While in Syed pattern, we only observe positions. This is the differences. In XRD, we observe the intensity and positions. Now we will explain what position basically shows and what intensities. In Syed pattern, we only and only observe positions. Position of what? Of a diffracted beam. But what about intensity? The next difference is in X-ray we use X-ray while in Syed we use electrons. So in one characterization we use X-ray in XRD while in Syed selected area electron diffraction we use electrons instead of X-ray. Now let's come to the main function of Syed pattern. Selected area electron diffraction tells us about the nature of a material. For example, if we have amorphous material, we know amorphous material means that uh, there is no order in a material. So we will get the positions only. The position of what? The position of diprected beams. So electron will diprect in many directions because the material is not in order. So when the material is not in order, so electron will diffract in all directions. So we will get ring, but the ring will diffuse ring. Diffuse mean that the ring will not intensify, mean there will be not a solid ring. One is solid ring, one is diffuse ring, right? So when our material is amorphous, we will get diffuse ring. When our material is completely in order, long range of material in same directions, so we will get only spots, bright spots. And this I will show later that how bright spots. Let for a quick review, let's see here. This is now the spots. One spot, second spot. You can see this diffraction pattern. There is complete clear order. Why there is order? Because your material is in order. So this is the Syed pattern for single crystal. You can see only bright spots are there, right? This is another story that why some uh, some uh, are bright and some are not bright. We will come to this also later. Now let's come to the polycrystalline material. If we have polycrystalline material, so polycrystalline means it is made from single crystals. If we take many single crystal and it combine in another material, it gives polycrystalline. Mean in polycrystalline, many single crystal combine to form another material. We call it polycrystalline. So when these parts combine small small parts, it make a ring. It make a ring. Now this is a single. But if we have another single crystal like this, and second, third, fourth, ten millions, so these these parts will make with each other, and it will make a ring like this. You see, small spot making of a ring. Okay. So this was basically uh, the the three key features of uh, selected electron area diffraction techniques, which is very very common techniques in uh, every experimental work. Right. If you are doing your PhD or uh, uh, master or whatever uh, research. Now, as we explained that, Said give us about the nature of the amorphous, a major mystery is amorphous, single crystal or puri. The same information we get from XRD. The same information we get from XRD. There is no differences, right? And this is the XRD pattern. Uh, it also tells that whether uh, the material is crystalline, single or puri crystal amorphous. As I explained in my previous videos, that if we have a sharp peak, sharp peak, it is a single crystal. If we have a polycrystalline, so the peak will be little bit, uh, little bit broader, little bit. If we have a complete broader peak like this, like this here, like this, so it is completely amorphous. 
right? And I explained this in my previous videos that why uh, amorphous give us the big end, uh, the single crystal give very sharp end, uh, the polycrystalline give uh, in between. I give the example of mirror. If you have a mirror and you shine the light, uh, uh, so the light will come uh, in a particular direction, it will intense light, the light will reflect. But if you break the mirror into few faces, so it becomes polycrystalline. So you will see now the intensity little bit will be uh, diffuse. When you further break the mirror into many parts, many faces, so there will be no reflection uh, and you will see no uh, reflected light at one particular point. So you can see that there is a diffusing, right? So as we explain in our uh, part of the video that uh, XRD is basically tells about the intensity versus position. This is the peak's position. In this one peak, the ring is uh, integrated there. For example, this is the polycrystalline in this one peak, 110. And if you look into the, uh, this, so this ring is basically integrated in, in the peak, right? This is the only differences here. Now, if you look here, in XRD measurements, single or polycrystal, we usually observe the intensity versus position. Intensity versus position. This is the position basically. The peak position is this, between the 20 and 30 theta. And here, Lee, this uh, another peak is here. So it basically the intensity versus position of the diaprected X-ray beam. While in Syed, we only observe position of the diaprected beam. Let's now see what is this position. The position of the diaprected beam gives us information about the crystalline nature. You see, look, if you see the positions uh, of the diaprected beam, which is diffuse, so you can tell that this is amorphous. When you see the position of the diaprected beam, which is sharp, which is in high intensity, so you can call that it is the uh, single crystal, crystalline nature. You see here, so the position basically tells us about the crystallinity of the material, either the material is crystalline or amorphous. Why, what is the intensity? Intensity basically tells us about the stoichiometry about the material. Stoichiometry means that, uh, that uh, whether there is another impurity or uh, defects or some other uh, things or not. So this is also a little bit uh, related to uh, EDX and I will further explain uh, the differences between EDX and XRD in my coming videos. So I do hope that now it's very very clear that what is uh, the Said in uh, XRD we use. Basically uh, th these two techniques we use for the same purpose to know the crystalline nature of the material. But in one we use X-ray, in another we use electron, right? These two characterization techniques are very, very useful when you are doing research.